If you've been looking for a really good high lumen EDC flashlight, something you can use for hiking, camping that you can easily slip in your pocket or clip onto your book bag, or if you just love flashlights like I do, then I definitely have the flashlight for you. This is the Wubin XO, and it's got some really cool features that we're gonna go over. And make sure you stick around till the end of the video because I will be doing a brightness test for each one of the modes. Now before I received this flashlight from Wubin, they reached out to me, wanted to know if I would do a review of their XO flashlight, and I'm really glad they did because this little thing packs a punch. Like I said before, I love flashlights, especially small ones just like this. Now if you guys do end up liking this flashlight and want to pick one up yourself, I will be putting a product link in the video description below as well as a 10% off coupon code so you guys can save some money. And if you guys like me and you want to support my channel, please use that discount code because it helps me keep purchasing products to do reviews for you guys. Now when you first get your flashlight, it does come in this box here and it's got some of its specs on the side. And inside the box, you also get a couple extra rubber O-rings, as well as some screws, and a USB type A to USB type C connection, so you can charge up your flashlight with a five volt, one amp power adapter. It also comes with a multi-language manual. Now this little flashlight is totally made of a solid aluminum. It's very sturdy, it does not feel cheap at all, and I'm surprised that they sell it at the low price they do because this thing is really well manufactured. Now inside this flashlight, it does come with a 18350 lithium battery that can last you up to 130 hours on one charge. I also really love the two-tone that it comes in. It has the nice blue metal clip here, as well as the blue metal button on the top. As you can see there, are the specs for the battery, it's 1100 milliamp hours, 4.07 watt hours at 3.7 volts. On the front, we have our Samsung LH351D LED. And as you can see, we also have these little slots kind of all the way around the flashlight itself. And that's so you can put little tritium tubes inside the flashlight so even when the flashlight's not on you'll still have some little glowing signifiers on here so you can easily locate it and then if we look at the bottom here it does have a magnetic battery cover that you can easily clip onto anything metal so you can light up an area hands-free and on the top here we also have a little led that signifies how charged up your flashlight is and we have a little blue magnetic button here now if we lift up the little button here, you can expose the USB Type-C charging port. Now this flashlight does have an IP68 waterproof and dustproof rating, which allows it to stay underwater for up to two hours at six feet. Now you might be thinking that this little USB Type-C connection isn't covered, but it is waterproof so no water can get inside the flashlight. It's got a little spring to it when you press it on and off, which is really nice. And on the back here, as you can see that aluminum clip as well. It's also super strong, so you don't have to worry about this clip just breaking off at all. This also has an impact rating of up to five feet. Now when you plug this in to charge it, the little LED will stay red when it is charging. And once it's totally charged, it will turn to a solid blue. It only takes about one and a half hours to charge from zero all the way to 100% using that five volt one amp adapter. Now just for a size comparison, I do have a Duracell 500 lumen flashlight right here. It does have a single LED inside. And as you can see, there is a huge, huge size difference. Would you rather take this huge Duracell that only does 500 lumens or the Wubin XO that can easily slip inside your pocket or on your book bag and you really won't even know that it's there? Now this little flashlight does weigh 82 grams or 2.89 ounces with the battery inside. And as far as the dimensions goes, it's two by two inches tall, 0.96 inches wide and 1.10 inches deep. Now this can also project a beam about 125 meters or about 410 feet which is pretty significant for such a small flashlight. Now this flashlight also has seven different modes of use. It has a SOS mode, a strobe mode, moon mode, low mode, medium mode, high mode, and turbo. And then here's a little chart of how long this little flashlight can last on each one of those modes. 
Now the SOS mode is definitely valuable because even if you don't know how to spell out SOS with a flashlight, this will automatically do it for you. So that's definitely beneficial, especially if you're in an emergency situation. Now another really nice thing about this flashlight is if you don't like one of the modes, if it's not bright enough for you, you can easily customize each one of the modes to be as bright as you want it. So every time you go back to that mode, it'll be set to the brightness that you customized. Now I definitely think the mode option is a great feature for this flashlight because even though it doesn't have anything to let you know how many hours you have of use on the flashlight, each mode has its own lumen count and that lets you know how long you can use this flashlight on each mode. Now there are also multiple different color options for this flashlight and there's also a different LED that you can get besides the Samsung. That's going to be the Osram P9. That particular LED comes in the black aluminum version. Now the main differences between the Osram and the Samsung LED is the Osram has a slightly cooler temperature. The beam can also reach a slightly farther distance. The strobe is brighter and it's almost 50% more candelas than the Samsung. But there's also a trade-off because it does do a higher lumen count and more candelas. It's also going to use up more battery. So that's just something to keep in mind. Now let me show you how easy it is to use the flashlight. When you first get it, it's going to be locked. You may think that it's broken or it's not working, but that's not the case. Again, it's just in its locked mode. So if, if the button happens to get pressed, the light won't turn on. And I'll show you how to get out of that. It's very easy. All you need to do is press this button four times. And now it's unlocked. So when you press in the button, it turns on the flashlight. And then if you want to relock it, just press that button in four times again. Now it's in locked mode. And like I said before, you can press this button all you want. So when it's in your book bag or your pocket, you don't have to worry about it turning on all by itself. And to know that it's in the locked mode, when you push down, you'll see the blue blinking light. That's a very handy feature. Again, like I said, if you just plan on putting this in your pocket or somewhere that you're not going to be using it for a little bit, you don't have to worry about the light uh, draining in your pocket or your bag. Now once you've unlocked the flashlight, all you need to do is simply press the button down one time and it turns on into its moon mode. If you want to raise the brightness to the other modes, all you simply need to do is press and hold down on the button and it'll cycle through all its brightnesses. And then eventually cycle back to that moon mode. Now whichever mode you left it in, when you press the button again, it will return to that mode. So we'll turn it on the moon mode. I'll go into the next mode here. I'll turn it off. And then I'll press it again to turn it back on. As you can see, it goes right back into that last mode you had it in. Now, if you want to put it into the strobe mode, all you need to do is make sure that the light is turned off and then just simply press down twice on the button. That'll put it into its strobe mode. And if you want to put it into SOS mode, all you need to simply do is press the button down twice again. And now it's in SOS. Then if you want to put it into turbo mode, all you need to do is simply turn the flashlight on to any mode, then double press on the button. And regardless of what mode you left off on, if you want to put it back into mood mode quickly, all you need to do is press and hold down on the button. So now let's go and do some testing. So now we're going to do the comparison test between the Wubun XO and the Duracell 500. Now keep in mind again, the Duracell 500 on its brightest can only do about 500 lumens, but I want to show you the difference between a much larger, heavier flashlight versus the smaller XO. So here is the Duracell on its brightest setting. It is on its most focused beam. If I kind of spread it out, it does spread out the light, but it definitely doesn't light up the area as good as the focused beam. So there it is on the grass. And then if we point it up at the house, you can see how bright it is. Now I'm gonna put the X0 on its highest point, and that'll give us about 250 lumens. So we'll have something to compare to the Duracell. So this is the X0 on its highest setting, which is about 250 lumens. And as you can already see, it lights up the area much more than the Duracell at its 500 lumens. Now I'm gonna turn the X0 on its turbo mode and we'll see what it can do. 
So here it is on turbo mode. As you can see, my whole backyard is pretty much lit up just by this one little flashlight. That is absolutely amazing. And just so you can see, this is the Duracell. And then the Wubin. <laughs> that's amazing. And that's only at its highest setting. So here is the Wubin on its lowest setting, which is moon mode. You can see well enough to see where you're stepping just in front of you, but it doesn't light up the area too much. Then we'll put it on to its lowest setting. So here's low. It's actually quite bright. You can definitely see a lot better where you're going, where you're stepping on the lowest mode. Here is the medium mode. Again, it's definitely much brighter than the medium mode. And then we'll put it on high. Now you can really see what you're doing. And then turbo. That is super bright. And then here we have strobe, which is really bright as well. And then our SOS. There's that nice blue LED glow. All right, so here I am probably about 200 feet away from my camera. And I just wanted to do some visual tests to see at what level brightness you can see this flashlight. So we're gonna start with the moonlight first. So here it is on moonlight. I don't know if you can see that light. All right, so now we're on low. Now we're on medium. Here's high. And here's turbo. And then here's strobe. And SOS. So what do you guys think about the Wubin XO? Will you be picking one up yourself? Or is there a feature that you'd like to see added to this flashlight? Let me know in the comments below. I absolutely love this flashlight. Not only is it really well built, it's got a lot of features and it lasts quite a bit of time on a single charge for the size that this little flashlight is. If you want to pick it up yourself, I will be putting a product linked in the video description. And don't forget to use my 10% off coupon code to save a little bit of money on your purchase. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell so that you guys know when I put out new videos. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Later.